yeah, pretty frustrating. Yeah. So I'm working on these parts here and because uh, I'm working on something for this client here. I've got, you know, trusty old Pro Tools up and, uh, and I'm just doing some trumpet recording. Um, this is kind of an example of what people send me. It's like this kind of stuff. It's like in a score and, uh, you know, it's bass clef, treble clef, whatever they want to throw at me. And then I just have to kind of pull out a horn line out of that. Um, I'll do some tracking, you know, so it always turns out okay in the long run um, and something to be proud of. But yeah, it just takes a lot. This guy has some like high Fs in there. Like, I mean, just some, you know, like those kind of Fs, <laughs> you know, that don't speak when you want them to, uh, when you've been playing too much and and you want to make it speak, but it's just not speaking. That's the frustrating thing about building chops is that you just have to keep kind of going through, you know, I'm sure tomorrow I'll pick up the trumpet and that F's going to be just even that much clearer. Um, so I'll get through this eventually. Anyway, uh, not a lot going on here. Um, guess this is B log number 11. I was going to do like an all big old introduction. But guess so much for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been a pretty interesting break the last two weeks. Um, we haven't done a whole lot. Um, we decided here that we would basically do nothing um, as much as possible because during the regular school year, we basically get involved doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Of course, I can't get away from working. I'm now working on this for this client, you know, playing some trumpet. And he's paid me a little bit of money to do that. So it's kind of cool, you know, making a little bit of money to play. Um, <clears throat> seems like the more I play, the more gigs I get. Um, at this point, I've, been, I've had like, I've been on maybe three or four gigs, you know, constantly for the last couple weeks. So that's been kind of cool. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how that ended up happening. Um, hopefully that kind of continues. But um, if I get too busy here, then that might be a problem. Um, so that, that's kind of something you guys should, should be inspired about. Um, if you want to be making some money playing, you know, you could, you could try your hand at one of those freelancing websites just sign up, you know, you have to be 18 years old or sorry, sorry guys, um, I, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's different per country, but you might wanna check um, because for some of you, you might have a couple years, find out what you need and then get that stuff so then when you turn 18, you're ready to go. Especially if you're like a drummer or like um, violin uh, strings, any kind of strings, although I've been seeing a lot more strings on those sites, which is good because, um, you know, they're getting a lot of money too. I'm, I'm seeing some of these guys, like I have a few ratings and I'm, 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 I feel like I'm getting pretty high up there, but I'm like nowhere close to some of these others. They're making like a few thousand dollars a month, maybe even a week on this thing, just knocking out gigs, just playing. And some of those guys are really, really good musicians. They're probably better than some of the LA musicians, um, or at least at the same level. So that's just an amazing thing to see. It's, it's the recording revolution is what it is. Um, so if you're not kind of gearing toward what it takes to record, you know, record a really good track, something that is like close to perfect, then then you should be rethinking your effort because um, that's just where people want to hear it. You know, like, because you hear all these great recordings, you have the ability to make a great recording in your house. I mean, this is just a bedroom, you know, with a bunch of junk in it, you know, that, you know, I have a, I have a futon, you know, that I sit in and my printer and my computer, that's it, you know. Um, and then, you know, I have my trumpet and, you know, all that stuff set up, you know, and I have a, a pretty good mic that I play into. Um, and then I have like this little interface that I run into the computer. 
So, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it allows me to be able to make great recordings at home. And then, you know, I, I treated, of course I treated the wall with just like, I put this uh, comforter up. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I, <laughs> I have this other comforter. Um, so I have this comforter as well, you know, above my computer. Um, I might just have to get another comforter to put on the ceiling because this, this room is a little live and, um, and it's just, it's not a very good room to record in. So it's going to need a lot of work. Um, I need, I need to just kind of treat things as I go and I have the money. Um, so we'll see exactly how far I take it. Um, I guess that's to be determined. So stay tuned, stay tuned everybody for, for the studio buildup. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so anyway, I guess that's it. Um, happy New Year's, everybody, and Merry Christmas late uh, for those of you who celebrate something else. Um, happy whatever you other celebrate. I guess happy holidays um, because it's hard to, to keep track of everybody's holiday. I mean, whatever whatever you want to celebrate for whatever your reasons being happy whatever it is you're celebrating all right for for me i'm celebrating really how lucky i am to have those people in my life who i can who i can share my musical gift with um you know i i sometimes I, it's easy to take it for granted and i'm sure that some of the others do too um how lucky we are to be together you know just this particular group of people you know this this team you know it's like the 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 dream team you know like well whatever you know this team is never going to be together because we're all individuals and so there's never going to be a team like this right it's all it's going to be something that's unique and and as the 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 human human has never seen the likes of this team before right and so that's every team. Um, you can't look at your team as like, oh, well, they were just like everyone else, you know, blah, 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 blah. No, you are in that team, right? You are in it. Not, not anybody else, right? But you, you're in it. Um, and so it's like, well, we're lucky to have you in it, right? And so, um, so anyway, I, I'm lucky to have these people particularly you know, the, the, the band that I direct, um, you know, I, I, I pour my heart and soul into that band and I go into there, you know, usually kind of, um, you know, expecting a whole lot more than, than I probably should, you know, and, but, but then when I see the results of, of how the music starts to progress and how they start really getting excited about playing these songs together, it just really starts making everything make sense. Like this is the team. This is the dream team right here. This is, you know, it can't happen with anybody else, right? These, the music that we play with these kids, um, it sounds different than it does with the recordings of the professionals, right? Does it sound better with the professionals? Now it's like, I wouldn't take it that far, right? Because it's like, the professionals are like, they have, they're just mostly sight reading through this stuff, you know, and they're like pretty good sight readers. So they're not like, um, they're, they're, they're not missing any details. Right. So they're just kind of like all the, the dynamics are playing, you know, like the, the staccatos, you know, you, the director doesn't have to say shorter, 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 which, which my band hears me yell shorter all the time. Um, you know, just the details of these things, right? So where you have the professionals, they're getting all of them. You have me then dictating them, you know, short, short, forte, forte, mezzo forte, me you know, you have me yell at all that stuff at my band <laughs> and I'm sure they get sick of hearing me say it, but you know, when, when I have a high standard, and I'm not ignoring all that as a director, then the kids are gonna start really, really getting the point where they're gonna be like, okay, he doesn't even have to say it anymore. 
you know, he said it so many times that I just like, yeah, staccato, you know? Um, and so it's just, we're trying to get to that level, you know? So then when, when you have these professionals who are sitting in a studio and they're like, okay, well, we have to knock out 10 pieces today in this session. Um, they're all pretty easy. They're all grade one. Um, you know, here we go. Okay. Here, here's the first one. Uh, it's called South wind. Okay. Here we go. Um, and they play the whole thing. Right. And then, and then like, well, what'd you think guys? Oh, it sounded beautiful. Yeah. What, first time they ever played it. Right. And then they go on to the next piece. Right. So that's, that's not a whole lot of thought or, or attitude or whatever, or, or, uh, I guess, um, you know, w when you think about it, you like you, your music is like, is like just you have all the rules, right? But then once you take it to that level of, of then you know, okay, well, I have all the all the things, everything's in place. Now what? What do I do? Do I just keep playing it like that? You know, then there becomes that point where you take it to that next level of, well, why does you know, a computer that can play a piece perfectly, why does it sound like a computer and not a human, right? Why, why can't we replicate that, um, the human aspects of playing music on a computer, right? Why can't we do that? Why are people still hiring me to play this stuff, right? This guy that sent me this stuff, he sent me this demo with this really, really awesome, sounding patches for for horns right you know the, the lead trumpet sounds just like the real thing but just like it well it's like it's like it's like 80 percent there right and it's like well what what can we get how can we get that extra 20 percent from this sound we just can't get it because that extra 20 percent comes from having a human play it right so that's why we need good musicians in our school system. You know, we need our drummer to be really on top of it. He needs to be professional, right? Our bass player needs to be like right there. He can read, he can read like crazy. Um, piano, you know, guy can't be a slacker over there playing anything, right? They have to be ready to play whatever we're gonna play together, right? Because um, that's the way that we're going to be a great band together, right? A great group, right? Um, and so that's kind of the level that I'm trying to get my band at. And it's been a it's been a really really rough um, fight, you know, <laughs> because the it it's it's hard to say, but maybe around here the um, the bar's been set pretty low, so. You know, it's just my my bar is just naturally pretty high. You know, it was that like that in high school? High school, I got really frustrated because um, these kids just could not play. These kids, you know, the, the kids that were my age, because I was a kid too, right? Um, they just could not play their instruments because they just refused to go home and practice, right? Because the band director for whatever his reason was, you know, he, he, he didn't, you know, make any kind of practice requirement. I mean, he may have mentioned it, you know, here and there, but you know, I, I make a huge, huge, huge deal about practicing on your own. And the, the reason you practice on your own is not because, oh, well, practice makes perfect, you know, oh, you should practice, blah, blah, blah. you know, it's because if you are constantly studying your instrument then when you come in and you play with other people then it's like you're you're not wasting so much time because that that rehearsal time together is like this sacred time that that you just you know it, it may be the only time that you have this guy with you right like you know you're playing with this piano player and he, he you know you give him this part that's just crazy right and then your part's just crazy too right but he went home and he practiced that part because he's like, well, this part's crazy, so I'm gonna play it, right? But then, you know, you come in and you say, okay, well, I think I got this. And and you're kind of, you know, not so solid on it, right? 
and you have to keep going back and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing just because you keep messing up, you know, that's just kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because you're like, well, dang, I should have gone and practiced on my own. You know, if I just went home and I, and I worked this out for 10 minutes on my own with the metronome and the good old tuner, then we'd be okay. Um, which, by the way, speaking of tuner and metronome, check this out. I just got this. This is the uh, Korg TM60, I guess. Um, it's like metronome slash tuner, right? Not very loud, so it's not very good for trumpet, but for any other instrument, definitely think about picking one of these up. Um, these are great. Uh, I prefer my, my other really super loud tuner loud metronome but that thing was kind of pricey uh so i mean for it this one was like i think about maybe 25 bucks uh 20 bucks maybe if you're lucky um great tuner definitely you need to have one um it, it's like another thing about playing with other people that that's kind of like uh a little kind of a must is that you should have like all of your 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 tools to to sound good in place right um i when i was younger you know i i didn't <laughs> I, was, I was like pretty ignorant about what i what i thought i knew um i didn't have a metronome didn't have a tuner because my my teacher was like anti to anti tuner anti metronome <laughs> for whatever her reason was, but um, <laughs> she was like, oh, you just have to train your ear. You just have to train your ear. You know, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And then when I started recording, I started, I found that my intonation just was like horrendous and my, my timing was just, you know, <clears throat> um, and so uh, once I finally kind of sucked it up and got that, because I had a, a good teacher at one point who who was like yeah if you want to get good you just have to do this stuff and he would just like you know just like i i talked to my band he would just be like hey hey look you know don't waste your time doing other things you, you gotta work on this stuff you gotta do this you just gotta do the work you know there's no getting around doing the work you just gotta go out there and dig the dig the stupid hole right you know you gotta dig this this big hole to to plant your tree in right and you're like oh is it big enough yet is it big enough yet oh well i don't know if it's big enough yet and you measure it and it's not big enough yet they keep digging you're like is it big enough yet ah oh, i gotta put in that work i gotta dig that hole ah it's just a lot of work right but then you're done digging the hole you put the tree in and then whew, the tree grows and it's a nice beautiful tree then you have the work is well worth the effort right you get what I'm go you get where I'm going with this? You get where I'm going? I think some of you do. I'm pretty sure some of you do. And I know that one of my prominent um listeners, I guess, cuz you know, maybe I don't know, I don't think you're just sitting here watching me the whole time. I mean, if you are, then I mean, that's cool too. I mean, maybe you just like seeing, you know, this this clef in my lip from playing so much trumpet. Um that's cool too. You know, maybe my cool my cool glasses um but but for the most part i'm pretty sure you're just kind of listening and so um what what you just have to do is is you just have to work really hard you know um the if you don't really work at anything then you won't get anywhere right it's like do nothing you won't get any you won't get anything right anything nothing zero right it's like zero effort yields zero yield, right? You get where I'm going? So if you put in a little bit of effort, then you should get a little, you should get somewhere, right? Just a little bit, just a little bit, right? Take out your instrument like 10 minutes a day, for instance. 10 minutes a day. Just do some study, some exercise, you know, go through a book, uh, a studies book for, for any instrument at all. Um, doesn't matter if you had any instrument, any any kind of practice on that instrument whatsoever. 
You know, it doesn't matter if you even know music at all, right? You don't know anything, right? Just sit there 10 minutes a day, right? Start at the beginning. Start at number one, you know, in your your old essential elements book, right? And then um and then do number two, right? Ten minutes a day, right? Guarantee, you know, eventually, eventually you will know every note on that instrument, right? Eventually, eventually. I'm not saying it'll happen overnight. Might not, might not happen for like a couple years if, if you're just really, 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 really not, not g gelling with it, right? Might take a few years, but eventually you will get to that point where you will know every note, you will know every fingering, you will know um, every intonation problem, right? You will know um, all of that stuff, right? And so... It's just how much time do you want to put in, right? Um, you know, I, I have a student who immediately right off the bat started just putting in that time and started just really, really going for it, right? And instead of, you know, sticking with the easy stuff that we play, you know, he was on to already playing harder stuff. You know, he was ready to start being like, soloist quality right and that kind of caught me off guard because i was like well you know we're supposed to be a first year band here and we have this kid who's playing like a third year student right because he's put in all that time and so um i guess that just kind of upped the level of the whole band you know because you can't be it's hard to be that person who's like oh man swallowing it whole when everybody else is like thriving, right? Um, so anyway, I guess I've run out of things to say. This is getting kind of long um, and I need to get back to here. And I needed to take a break because my lip is just getting really, really, really. See if I can, if I can play it. I might just have to take a break for the evening. I can play that line down an octave, but the thing is I warmed up with it down an octave because it's easier to warm up down with an octave and have something you could hear and rip it up an octave. But, you know, I've been blowing lead like all day, right? Like for the last like five hours. Um, so I'm like at the end of the five hours, right? So, you know, I've, I've already laid like, like all the other tracks, you know, like all everything else, like, Probably, uh, you know, at least three hours worth of music I've laid um, today recording for people. Um, pretty amazing. Um, not all of it is like scream and lead stuff. You know, most of it's in the staff. Like most people want like, like something like... Um, Right, something like there. Um, and so it's, you know, I can knock that out. And I've got a few more that I can knock out tonight. Um, but for this song, the F sharp, I don't think it's going to be there. So we'll just try tomorrow again. You know, I'm feeling pretty good that I can, you know, sort of, you know, it out. Um, because that that's just showing that my chops are getting stronger. And, and I haven't played a lot in the last like you know few months um well actually before like about six months ago i wasn't playing hardly at all but six months ago i started kind of gradually working up to now um i'm getting ready to go play guys and dolls which will be a lot of fun um that has a lot of lead stuff in it you know um a lot of great you know, just pulling out all the all the tool book for, for lead jazz playing, you know, growling, shaking, uh, harmon mute, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll have to get a cut mute because I let, I let both of my students borrow both of my cut mutes and then they kind of took off with them. Um, I guess I could bug them for them back, but they were just the cheap, you know, um, stone line mutes, which I like. For, for cut mutes. That's like really the one that I like that sounds the best. I know it's cheap. 
some some people may disagree with me. Like I said, you know, music is something that is you find your sound, and my sound is using one of those stone line cut mutes, right? So whatever, whatever you whatever you want to do, you can do whatever you want. But I use that mute. So anyway, um, guess we'll talk to you guys later. This is the B log number eleven. I was gonna do something cool like that at the beginning, but I completely forgot. Maybe to, maybe maybe for number twelve. We'll see. All right, guys. We'll see you later.